the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Here's a, this the, the subject today, good brother. Check this out. <laughs> is who is the greatest? That's that I'm, I'm reading the whole chapter of this thing. One of the other pieces is gonna be the parable of the unforgiving servant. Uh because they all had that whole chapter scene they had, I think it's chapter eight. It has a lot of good information in it, right? But it, it started off with who is the greatest? That's when the disciples are asking that question to Jesus, right? And, and that's something we got to worry about as far as people trying to seek their own glory uh, and, and try to be like the disciples. And Christ has given an example that he that served of all shall be what? The greatest of all, right? The person who serves everybody is an addition of servanthood, not being number one. I'm not, you're not, that's not what the kingdom principles are about, right? So check this out. We start off with this chapter. With this, that's the thing for today. Come, I'll let you read it first and see what you got, see what you think about it. Okay. Matthews 8, 1. At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and uh -huh. become as a little as little children, uh -huh. ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself uh -huh. as this little child, yes, the same sir. is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Come out. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, Come on. receive me. Yes, sir. But whoso, whoso shall offend one of these little ones, which believe in me, it were better for him that a milestone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. And, 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 you know, most people, I think, when they, they read that, I think they keep looking at a child, right? A literal child. What he was saying is, to be converted, you, me, anyone coming into the God kingdom, the heaven and lights, right? Uh, our newborn babes, right? Uh, mm -hmm. they, they, they're coming because they believe in him. I mean, that's, yes. that's the criteria, isn't it? They come because they believe in him. And and he's telling us when, you remember we talk about the avatar effect, right? Come as a as an empty cup. You know, instead of the world's, all the knowledge that the world gave you about how you're supposed to be, how you're supposed to be great or whatever. He said, no, I need you to come empty of the world system, of the things that are mindful of man and be more mindful of the things of God. I want you to be open to receive the spiritual intent of the gospel. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so when you're talking about offend somebody, when you say there's a brand new believer comes in, we don't boast to try to offend them, uh, use them, abuse them we're supposed to have them grow in the things of god you know what i mean yeah you know i i when, when i was reading that uh 18 6 it it really brought to mind when jesus said many shall come to me hollering lord lord you know uh -huh. and, and, and basically it ends up with him saying depart from me i never knew you I mean, yeah, you, know, yeah, you, yeah. you 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 may have been you know doing the works doing works but you did not believe you uh -huh. you you did not 
cultivate a relationship with me, you know, you, you and you did not receive these children. Yes. I know. <laughs> as such. Yeah. You know, and so when you abuse these new these new children of heaven, then you're pretty much abusing Christ. Exactly. That's what he tried to say. Yeah. So, so and yeah, they come there, in there's a way, right? so I mean, many come. implications and 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 uh Woo. well not implications there's so many there's so many applications exactly. that can be applied right. as entering in as a child yeah you know um you you examine a child and you just see wonders you know i yesterday on, on the golf course i heard something i hadn't heard in a very very long time okay and it and it, it was it was so uh, attention getting. Yes, sir. But yet it was just so simple. And it oh, was no. children playing in a park. Oh, okay. okay. The, the noise that came from them, the sounds of, of, of joy and laughter and freedom. Yeah. You know, and then watching them run around and, and doing little things. Uh, not fully aware of this world you know wow. they're just in their moment yeah yeah enjoying one another there's no strife there's no confusion there's no no backbiting no fighting they're just in a park enjoying uh enjoying themselves along with the the different uh things to interact with right in that park and and just listening to them just giggling and laughing and running around and, and playing together it was just so refreshing because i hadn't heard that especially in this particular uh moment in time you know with this right. pandemic out here and 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 the different uh, uh measures people are taking to keep themselves safe and 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 so on and so forth so, but but it, it really, really, really made me stop and pause and just watch them for a moment. Right. You know, uh, along with everybody else. Um, but yeah, the examining children, seeing how they interact with this world, you know, uh, not interacting in the things that are being taught to them as far as the vision exactly. and, and, yeah. And, yeah. And, and you know hate and stuff like that but just their natural state yes yes you know because a child doesn't look at another child and immediately see color of their skin and think there's something wrong with that child right Somebody you know what I'm saying yeah, somebody teaches them. Yeah. And and or uh, a child that's blind, another child doesn't feel apprehensive about approaching that child. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> and, and interacting with that child. There's no inhibitions, yeah. you know, to 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 interact. But on, yet, man. we as adults, we put up barriers, we put up uh, false ideas and and pretexts in our interactions with people based on what we see yes yeah you know and um and so it's it's like i said there's just so much in that right could 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 not could you prepare prepare that too all right now look at that as a new convert coming into the body of christ well yeah. you know, the same thing they have then they're receiving mode if they come as a See, here's a, look, I think a couple of things in there, right, Clyde? If they come as a child, right? Because that, that's what he said, right? You be converted and, and as a child, ready to learn, not to come in with the world's way, the world's opinion, but as a, a person ready to receive 
uh, the things of God. You know what well, I mean? From my my experience, you know, my little time uh -huh. and my personal experience, uh, a newborn Christian isn't caught up into anything. They fired up for the Lord. You, you they see? are so excited. Yes. They are so on fire because they are not in the same condition that they were in a twinkling of an eye moment prior to. And, they and you talking about some of the best witnesses uh -huh. <laughs> for the kingdom of God. I mean, you can't contain that. You you have to tell somebody. Come on now. <laughs> so that's coming as a child. And I mean, and it's it's it doesn't last long because Probably you have well. you have first of all, you 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 have the enemy Come out. already attacking you. You're you, ain't nothing changed about you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know you're you're still the same you know so that that enemy is always going to be there yeah uh trying to trying to bring up your past and tie you to that person that has been crucified with christ because your your nature is has not been changed as far as your mental capacity to know who you are yeah, that, you that needs to be developed just yeah. like any other child Exactly. A child doesn't isn't born in knowing who they are, but you have individuals uh -huh. call themselves Christians. They start shack, you know, shackling them with with chains of of you know control. Yeah, it's more of a control than anything. Now, I'm not saying that it's malicious, you know, and and there's there's an uh an intent to, to put all these these stones around their neck you know chains on them but we tend to do that because uh of our own experiences or because of how we're taught you know and and it's amazing I've, I've i've witnessed people getting saved and the first thing they say okay now you need to church you need to join a church auxiliary uh, <laughs> <laughs> and come and get indoctrinated in, into our beliefs. Exactly. You know, and, and, and I'm like, and, you know, and I wasn't then because it never really dawned on me. It's just a, a, a growing that I had. And I see this now. I mean, what, what, what does that have to do with this person entering in, you know, to tie themselves to this particular body by being in a ministry? instead of cultivating this person as a child and start nurturing and making sure they know who they are in Christ. Yes, yes. yes. What they yes. are. Right. And the greatness the that, that has been placed in them and keep encouraging and lifting them up and, and, and growing them yeah. as a child, not as a laborer of the church, but a laborer in Christ, a heavy right. Indian. Yeah, you know <laughs> exactly. I don't worry. Let them enjoy the the, the 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 power and the love of Christ. Because I mean, that's what they're drawn for. Either they're drawn because of the fact is I'm a delivered from hell. I'm not going to hell. I, somebody just told me I, I I'm not going into death. I'm going into life. Somebody told me that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And now all of a sudden, you tell me how to overcome things in the flesh. That's that's. <laughs> That's where the challenges come from. It says that, look, be spiritually minded, not cardinally minded, but immediately people want to put them in the cardinal set. Uh, and, and, and you know, I think, go ahead. We, well, you, you said something that did just stir something up in me. You know, we, we've, we've labeled and coined this, uh, this saying that really has destroyed a lot of what we're here to actually teach about. And that's talking about, you know, you're preaching fire and brimstone. No, we're teaching the word. The word, uh huh? You know, we're teaching the results of our sinful nature. Uh -huh. So don't don't give it some bad label. 
Yeah. Because it's the truth that will make you free. Yeah. So we've gotten away from actually letting people understand that there is a hell. Yeah. Well, you know, that's there is a place that people will be placed and there will be gnashing of teeth. There right. is torture and pain for throughout eternity if you don't accept this gift that has been given to you. So we, we've gotten away from that. Satan has really been effective into changing us into being so passive and so worldly minded that we don't even teach that anymore. What was the last time you've heard anyone talking about, you know, if you don't get saved, you're going to hell? Well, you know, I, it's, it's like you said. It, it, what I, what I, what I, like I was saying too is the fact is, for the for the newborn baby to come in, the the rejoicing is a I recognize I need a savior, and why I need a savior. Like you said, there's a lot of reasons why I need a savior. One was to be delivered from hell, you know, uh, to have eternal life. In other words, it should be a rejoicing of why. And the realization is, you were going to hell. You were going to death. You was, you're not going to have eternal life. You're going to have destruction. And, no, and eternal death. We got to say it what it is. Yeah. The difference yeah. is, is, you know, there's an eternal life, and then there's an eternal death. There is yeah. a torture for eternity that's awaiting you if you yeah. don't accept a gift. This yeah. is a gift of love. Yes. Yeah that's being rejected. The only sin left that will cause you to spend an eternity away from love. Come on now, come on. So when when we break it down and we start explaining this to them and quit being so passive and so, so, uh, I don't even well, know a word I, for I, it. I, but, I, think but, the I think the problem is that the, when, when, when they come into the body of Christ, the knowledge of, like you said, being the living of eternal life is critical. But to make sure they understand that you're not going to be delivered or you can't be delivered and you were not delivered because of your ability in the flesh. You know what I mean? In other mm -hmm. words, this is a gift that's given to you. And he wants you to continue in his word to understand how to live as a heavenly knight. You know what I mean? A Havinian. Havinian. <laughs> well, you call Havinian, but I mean, there's some other terms like Israelite and all those other lives, right? So I, I, well, I, I ain't no I. But 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 the point is to be able to let them know that you're not in danger of this if you go and stay in His Word and understand His power, His. So my point is, I agree. You, 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 you can. We can talk about it and make sure those who are uh, aware of what death is, what the soul can be thrown into. Because Christ talked about that, right? He talked about uh, aspect of hell. He talked about the soul being thrown into hell, and and those who didn't know that they were in danger of hell, it's good to let them know about it. And then there's those who Hey, bro, you know, bro, I said, they're saying, look, I just realized I need a savior. And I know that savior loves me and has mercy for me and mm -hmm. has forgiven me. And I, and that's what some of some of them not even may not think about hell. They think about the fact is that the hell is they see on earth. You know what I mean? And and as a little child, we want to be able to nurture that child and keep that yeah. child growing. That's why he was saying on the scriptures, right? The humble. I mean, look at look at the condition of what he wants you to do, or or somebody comes into the body, Christ. He said, verse three. He said, he said, verily I say unto you, accept you. That's 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 critical, yeah. right? You want to make it personal. Accept you be converted and become. See, look at it. And that's a conjunction, right? Yeah. And be. Oh, as little children, you look at it, and that's very, I think that's a very critical condition, isn't it? Yeah, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. 
So now we now the right the focus now is the heaven piece, right? In other words, when you 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 tell you about fire and brimstone, but let's talk about the good news is what heaven is about, right? And the good news is you need to come as a child. Because a lot of people come in, you know that how many people come in and say, I'm not ready yet. Well, those people don't come in. <laughs> you say that? They don't come in? You know, if, if they ain't ready yet, obviously they ain't coming in. You know, <laughs> you, you can't halfway do this. I know it. <laughs> you know, it says, except ye be converted. <laughs> you know. Um, there, and, and this explains uh, a lot that's going on in the church. <laughs> you know, you got people saying they say. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, but are you? <laughs> did, did you really accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Or is that just something you said because you were told to say that? Yeah. Do, do you really, really believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Do you really believe that he was raised from the dead? I, I, I can truly say that there is many folks who don't even believe, truly believe, that he was raised from the dead. And and then and then even in saying that, it's like, what are you doing there? <laughs> why, why are you even if you can't believe that he was raised from the dead, what makes you think you can be? So it's just mm. I, you know, you know, I, I I think that's a that's a truth what you're saying on that, but I, I wanna throw I wanna throw a flip on that too. Maybe they at least you know they heard right, they heard the cross. They heard about Christ being raised from the dead. You know, the, you know, like Easter Sundays, right? They say a lot of people come in uh, because they they were told traditions. They come in on Easter, right? So yeah. the, the story is about raised from the dead, right? We, we, now that that so I was put this way, just means that they know that he was raised from the dead, right? Does that does that make sense? They know the story. They were told the story. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Okay, yeah, that's a big difference. They were told the story. But the flip thing I want to put in there is though that Ed come as a little child. It's the part I think I wanted to throw in there at you. Okay. Now, are they coming when you said you believe Jesus? You said you are a uh, a believer. Have you come? Did you come in as a child, opening to receive the word of God? Is what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Were you yeah. were you already a full cup, which means you didn't come as a child, and that is a isn't that isn't that what they're saying is a as a condition, unless you be converted and become as little children. Yeah. It's possible that a lot will be converted, or at least they, you know what I'm saying, they come in with a one piece, but they don't come in the piece of willing to grow and do the things based on the spirit and power of God, but they come because some people put the laws and rules on them, and they that's what they understood is the way of being a child of God, that they don't get the full impact. Yeah. God. That's what I'm saying. I think a lot of people may have. I mean, look, I mean, the story that said, maybe that one about in Matthew where they said, Have we not prophesied in your name? Yeah. Cast out devils in your name. But Jesus said, I never knew you. Yeah. That's what he said. Because you can't, because what it is is you came with the understanding of what the power of what Christianity. Uh, is about but you never came open for me to know you yeah, you never cultivated a relationship you never called yeah. and that's that's the key that's critical in being a christian yeah you know there and it, we got <laughs> we we have people coming in to this body and they're so enamored with what the 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 preacher's doing yeah that yeah. that's their desire i want to be a preacher they they think they're they're it, well they two things 
Yeah. First of all, they they think that that's a, a a lofty position. Yeah. When it's a position of of servant. Yeah. Uh, um, and you know, and we've we've done it a great disservice by the accolades and the uplifting that it's done to these individuals. You know, I can only imagine how long can you maintain that spirit of of servitude when you got people actually worshiping you you know yeah. satan i said yeah. it before satan couldn't handle that yeah you know and he 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 was an angel of light so yeah. you know how much more how much more this is it going to be tough for somebody you know in this this sinful flesh right. to withstand that right you know and 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 well and vain they, glory yeah so uh you got that and then you 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 got this enemy who is so effective in in changing the 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 the, the, the power of God that has been given to us yeah. you know to where you know we we think that we can remove him from the atmosphere you know, when, when we can make him leave a, a, a church, well, if there's a human in there, he has the ability to be in there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Not everybody has the ability to, you know, effectively say, get, get thee behind me. Exactly. Thank yeah. you. Some yeah. people are going to be influenced by the thoughts that are going through their mind because they are still children. It's exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, exactly. That, that, uh, I agree. My, hey, look, my fact, I, I will throw something at you. I, I wanted to show you this. Uh, what you're saying is right on, on point. And I want to show you an example of a little child, an actual little child, right? I, I, said, I don't know if I said this one to y'all, but I'm saying how the world tried to make us, how the world's affecting us by going by the world's way. Check this little this little clip I I uh, I played me twice so you can see it. I could I, I want to show you an example. I saw this. And I just wanted to show that because I was saying to them, let me get off of it now. It's just, it's, I, I saw, when I was looking at that, I saw it as a little child, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and how a little child sees the the, the world and or how the world presents itself to a child. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when he said to come as a little child, we need to understand that even when a, when a, when a grown-up comes in as, 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 as a little child that that they 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 he said with loving kindness have i drawn thee teach me show me jesus in you you know what i mean mm -hmm.